Minari is the story about a Korean family that moves to Arkansas in the 1980s. Fun fact about this movie, this story is about the director's life when he was a little kid. And I gotta say, wow, this movie is perfect. I had so much anticipation for this movie. Specifically, the first reason why I was so excited for this film was because I love Steven Yoon. He was one of my favorite, favorite actors in the Walking Dead series, and I was so sad, spoiler alert, when he died. Back to it. Don't even get me started on The Walking Dead in season seven, episode one. I was weeping. I actually have a video where I reacted to that scene and I acted like a little baby during that whole episode. No exceptions. Anyways, this is not a Walking Dead review. I just wanted to say how much I love Steven Yoon, and I was so excited to hear that he was going to be a part of this project. And his performance in this movie is so well done. You can feel the emotion in every single scene that he's in. He's just a father that wants to do right for his family. He wants to be able to create something from the ground up and say, I did this. And throughout this film, between the scenes with Monica and Jacob, David, and the awesome grandma in this film, don't even get me started. She is so freaking good in this movie. I mean, everybody is, but the grandma specifically just blew my mind with what she was doing on this film. She, she was completely hilarious. There was moments where I was just leaping for joy with what she was doing, but also moments where I truly felt moved between the scenes with her and David. Also, I specifically left these two actors out because I just wanna give them their proper moment of appreciation. Alan S. Kim was so funny in this movie. There are scenes where you're supposed to feel emotions with this kid, you feel those emotions. There's scenes where you're supposed to laugh out loud, you laugh out loud. This kid is dynamite in every single scene that he is in. He's just the cutest kid around town, and that's all I gotta say about it. And the last person that I have to mention that was so dang good in this movie is Will Patton. Also, I gotta give a shout out to the cinematographer because this movie is beautiful. Okay, let me just look up the name. Let's see. The name is Lachlan Milne or Lachlan Milne? Lachlan Milne, you did a phenomenal job. Thank you so much for the hard work that you did for this film because it was beautiful. The last thing that I want to talk about is there's specifically a scene, and it's in the trailer, so it's not a spoiler, where there is a little log cabin building on fire. And I gotta say, that shot embodies the whole film for me. What I mean by that is that it, it there's just those one of those rare scenes where it takes you out of the film in a good way, not in a bad way, but it just makes you look at your life. And it makes you remember why you do what you do. Like, why am I doing this YouTube video right now? Because I love talking about movies. Even when it may feel like there's no point to it, I know there is a point because there's other people out there who love movies just as much as I do. And I'm not here for the views. I'm here for the community. And that scene reminded me to keep on going, to keep on pushing on. When it feels like times are hard and it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to do this, to set all this up. It does make sense. There's somebody out there who wants to talk about movies, and that's what I'm here to do. Minari is just one of those films that comes out of nowhere, punches you right in the gut with all these emotions, but then lifts your spirits by the end of the film. And I gotta say, Alan S. Kim, I hope you get more work, bud, because you did a wonderful job. So with that being said, I'm going to give Minari a solid 10 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for checking out my review. It really means a lot. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, please don't forget to be blessed.